people online feel they are entitled to do and say whatever they want with no repercussions. Dave Palumbo here with another RX Muscle rant. Today's topic is going to be about social media and the fans and what they think they have the right to do and not do and what we should do about it. The thing that really brought this up is I was watching a video by Whitney Jones, who's a former fitness Olympia champ. She had an amazing routine here at the Olympia in the 23. She injured her shoulder at the very end. I don't even know how she finished the routine. She was a real warrior, a real champion. And, you know, you can see the pain on her face. Uh, in the routine, she, first of all, the routine was really good. And I'll, I'll put some footage up for, on it while we're talking about this. And she uh, has this little battle going with Missy Truscott, who won last year. They've traded back and forth Olympia victories and Arnold Classic victories. And Missy actually got hurt at this Olympia and couldn't finish. Whitney was lucky to be able to finish her routine and uh, didn't have to drop out. But anyway, they have this like battle back and forth, back and forth. And Whitney, you know, has her little insignia that she always goes by. She's a lion. And Missy kind of goes by, she's the predator, she's the shark. And during Whitney's routine, she kind of like took a shark head and kind of tossed it right in the beginning of the routine. I'll show you the, the footage. And you know, it was funny. It was it was a funny routine, and she was you know saying, "Look, I'm gonna I'm gonna beat this girl this time because you know they're always going back and forth." And Missy is the, is, the, is the reigning champ, and so I thought it was really humorous. I thought it was you know it was not in poor taste at all. It was a phenomenal routine, and it was very creative. And you know, and the fans went nuts, and there were people who were actually threatening not only her, but her her children. Uh, and, and stalking them on, on, on their posts on social media. It, 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 absolutely, it sounds absolutely insane and nuts, but people online feel they are entitled to do and say whatever they want with no repercussions. The same goes for what happened with, you know, Hottie Schuppen's fans. Hottie, you know, loses the Olympia and his fans go nuts and they start threatening people. They shut Derek Lunsford's Instagram down twice. I'm sure there were plenty of threats. I know King Kamali tells me he gets threats all the time from fans from Iran and the Middle East who, if he, God forbid, he says one bad thing about a Middle Eastern bodybuilder, especially someone from Iran, he gets death threats all the time. I, I get crazy, stupid stuff too. Not maybe as much as these guys, but I don't even read the comments on Instagram. But I get emails from, from crazy people too. And I just ignore it. I mean, it doesn't matter to me. You know, I don't care. But the point is, you know, ostensibly the people who are sending these messages and who are doing this disgusting stuff are theoretically bodybuilding fans. They're not like random people like who just, you know, are, you know who, who don't have any interest in bodybuilding. I would assume that they are people who work out and follow bodybuilding, right? Because they're watching the content that these people are putting up online. And they are doing despicable, disgusting stuff crossing the line and yes, I know it's easy to tell people to just ignore it and don't worry about it. Not everyone can do it, okay? I don't give a crap about what people think about me because it doesn't change me one bit. But a lot of people, you know, get very upset by it. And some people have a, a right to be upset by it because if, when you start saying things about people's families and children, that's crossing the line. And you know what? If you want to be a member of our Iron Brother and Sister community, you should be ashamed of yourself if you're out there putting that stuff up, acting like a real bully behind your computer screen, something you would never do in person. The people who threaten people online, they're the biggest cowards of all time. These are not the people that are going to do any damage to a person 
if they see them in person. Those are the people that are going to be like kissing the person's butt or not even showing up at a show because they don't have the, the gumption to do that. Okay, Real tough guys don't go around saying how tough they are. Real tough guys don't go around threatening people. Real tough guys or tough girls just take action. And that's, that's not what these people are. These people are cyber bullies because they probably have no power within their own life. They probably feel like they're losers, that they haven't accomplished anything. So they feel good about themselves when they can take people down notches. Look, and I've seen this for years. This has been going on for a long time. I mean, Kai Green, probably one of the most beloved and the most hated people on the internet because there's a lot of people that are jealous of him. So they'll try to find any weakness in his character and exploit that so that they can take him down a few notches, down to their level. It happens with everyone. Anyone who's successful is going gonna, is gonna to experience that. Phil Heath, seven-time Mr. Olympia. I've never seen anyone more criticized than this, this guy. But you know what? He doesn't give a crap about what people think about him. He's got, a, he's got the right attitude. And I'm like that too. You know? There's plenty of people out there that have nasty things to say. I just don't care because it does, the good opinion of others don't matter to me. But it, it hurts me inside when I see good people like Whitney Jones, like Derek Lunsford, who, who are just trying to be positive role models in the bodybuilding world, who are trying to say, hey, look, you guys can accomplish this too. And you know what? I want to be here to help you guys accomplish. I want to motivate you. I want to be a role model for you. You know, I would be more than happy if my daughters, you know, looked up to a Whitney Jones and said, look at this. She's a champion. She pushes through to the very end, even when she's injured. She loves her competitors. She's got a good relationship with everyone. She's a positive influence on the sport. Same thing for Derek Lunsford. The problem is that when you are a role model and you're at that level and you have this mob mentality following you, it's your onus of responsibility to say, hey, look, fans, I didn't win here, but I don't want you guys taking action on anyone else. I don't want you to disgrace me by trying to stick up for me and, and, and hurt other people because that's not who we are. We're an iron brotherhood and sisterhood. We stick together. We support each other. We lift each other up. Look what happens when people have, fall on hard times or get sick or, or, or injured. What do we do? We, we contribute to a GoFundMe because we don't want to see anyone sick or anyone hurt or anyone out in the cold, so to speak, because we're all in this together. We all do the same thing. We work out. We love the sport of bodybuilding. We love competing. We love the entertainment value of it. We love the health aspects of it. And just like in life, when people are down on their luck, we have to be there to lift each other up, not bring each other down, because it just paints a, a very negative image on our sport, and it makes us look like a bunch of losers. And that's not who we are. There might be a small percentage of people out there who are that, but you know what? I don't want to see that. And you know what? If you don't have anything positive to say, or if you want to do something threatening family members, and you want to you know, try to scare people, because you're a coward and you like to go behind your computer screen and be a big shot and a bully, you got no place in this industry. We don't want you. Get out. And for all the people who have been victimized, you know what? My heart goes out to you, but you know what? You got to just ignore these people. They're not worth it. And if we don't give them any credibility and we don't give them any attention or any of our energy, they'll go away because it's our attention to this negativity that feeds these parasites, I call them, on our industry. And they're in every industry. You see it in the entertainment industry, you see it in the sports world. There's a lot of people that are just very unhappy, and through their unhappiness, they, they try to suck the energy of the people who are up here. And I'm sorry that Whitney Jones had to go through that, but you know what, guys? Give me a break. She had a super, super entertaining, creative routine. I, I, I doubt Missy Truscott was insulted in any way whatsoever. She probably laughed and enjoyed it. And I'm sure she'll come back even better next year with an interesting routine of her own. So don't give any of these keyboard warriors any of your energy or any attention whatsoever. 
focus on the positive, focus on lifting us all up. We love our role models. I got to tell you, I think the sport's at a really good place. There's a lot of great divisions with a lot of great champions that who are inspiring a new generation of bodybuilders and fitness athletes in our industry. Let's not embrace this cancel culture where they want to put everyone out of business and bring them down to their own misery. I'm over it. I know you guys are over it too. If you want to be a negative influence on this industry, you want to be a energy drainer, you want to be someone who brings us down, guess what? We don't want you. Get out. Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle Rant.